going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of The Post Credits. I'm your host, Tim Montalvo. Today, we're talking about Free Fire. I went and saw this movie with my girlfriend, and I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty funny. I haven't heard a lot of buzz or anything about this movie. I thought it was kind of like a sleeper movie. Um, I thought it was good. kind of reminded me of Tarantino. There's a lot of gruesome action in it, a lot of shooting, but there's also a lot of comedic dialogue in it, and I, I'm a sucker for comedic dialogue. That's why my favorite dialogue writers are Kevin Smith and Quentin Tarantino. Tarantino has an awesome way of just making you stare at people talk, and all they're doing is talking, but he pulls you in because their dialogue, and obviously their actors get credit where credit's due. They're awesome at it. But Free Fire we're talking about today is with Brie Larson, Charlotte Copley, Army Hammer, and Cillian Murphy. kind of list goes on and on from there. Uh, basically, it's about these people who want to pull off a heist, and the first step to pull off a heist is to get some weapons for the heist, and that's where we are. That's pretty much where we stay because they're kind of so dumb that they can't even do the money gun exchange the right way they can't even get past that to do the actual heist that they're planning maybe the beginning was kind of slow to get it started because i was kind of waiting for some you know some action and you know shooting and, and and comedy and stuff like that but a lot of the characters are pretty funny i found myself the only person in the theater actually laughing i guess uh i don't know i like i said i like you know people dying but also saying funny shit at the same time so i guess i just have a really fucked up sense of humor I don't know. It's not that crazy of a movie. It's very much uh, feels like an indie movie, even though it was released majorly. Uh, it was a major release, but it feels kind of like an indie movie, and I love indie movies. But, you know, this movie is not going to blow you away. It's not the new Reservoir Dogs or something like that, but it is it is a good watch, I think. Uh, and it's a fun watch, and it's something you could... It's like one of those movies you, you just find, and you're like, oh, man, I never heard about this movie. And it's like... Well, one person saw it and they thought it was good. That person was me. But yeah, I hope to uh, see more from this director, Ben Wheatley. I think he has a duo with this, uh, his writing partner, Amy something. Let me see if I can. Amy Jump. I'm looking forward to them doing some more movies and probably getting bigger budgets. And it would be dope if I saw them make a superhero movie because they could probably bring some carnage into it real carnage like the character carnage spider-man eh, maybe in sony spider-verse when they're going probably going a little darker maybe they should do that but if they want to go really crazy i think they should stick to dc maybe i know everything's darker but whatever but yeah i thought it was really good free fire check it out <laughs>